Hello, my precious brothers. I greet you from my home in the matchless name of our beloved Jesus. I'm contacting you now because you and I already have relationship and you matter to me. And from some, I've already been privileged to travel and minister in your congregation, in your nation, and I'm so deeply honored. Many months ago, the Lord spoke to me very intimately and called me to a 40-day fast, a time to press myself. It wasn't about changing God. It was about changing me. And with Matthew chapter 6 as a scriptural point of reference, I looked at Jesus, who shared with us that triangle of spirituality, of prayer and fasting and giving. And in that time, I began to wonder if God was seeking to do something even bigger, much bigger. And I submitted this idea to my covenant brother, Bishop Juan Martinez, in El Salvador, and we have been so intimate for many years now, and I have preached there many years, many years, and he has ministered so wonderfully here. And I wondered if God might not be forging some kind of relationship even in the fast, a great fast, that I would intercede for him and he for me and my family for his family and vice versa. Then our congregations would be praying for one another and we would send videos. It was an extraordinary time. I can tell you, even the great fast of 2013, I have never personally witnessed the presence and power of God the way I have in this past year. Our attendance doubled. The finances increased even more important. The manifest presence of God was so real and healings were loosed. And I've watched people literally at the point of death and God raised them up. Oh my gracious, what God. And the doors to the nations have been so open to us. And I could go down a list of how many peoples of the earth are now represented in this house. And I'm convinced every good thing people want me to talk about, how the church has grown. And all I can tell you is it was the fast. Every good thing that's happened this year, it was the fast. And so now I'm, I'm feeling the Lord call me to a fast, a great fast of 2014. It will be a 40-day season from March the 11th to April the 20th, Easter Sunday. And how right it is, because this fast is not about grieving or lamenting. It's about pursuing the heart of God and knowing his perfect will for our lives, to move in a deeper revelation, to walk in a more profound intimacy. It is to know his perfect will for our lives. And I'm wondering if you might be a part of it. Your nation as well. I'm talking to Asia. And I'm talking to Africa. I'm talking throughout Latin America. And I'm wondering if you might want to join us as well. I submit this to you. I would never impose some prescription on how you would observe the fast. For some it is abstaining from meats or sweets and breads for others. For some of us, last year it was only water for 40 days. Very severe, and I don't recommend it to anyone unless God places it on your heart. And then it is not only the right thing, it's the only thing. So I need you to pray about this. We've got a few weeks, of course, but I need to hear from you. And we'll create a Facebook page just for the Fasting 40, just for the international intercession and believing that God is going to do a profound work in our lives. If at any time I can be of any service to you, I will do my very best to make myself available because you matter to me. And I'm grateful for who you are to me because every time I spend any moment with you, I'm multiplied. You stretch me, you grow me, and I learn from you, and I'm desperate to learn. I love you dearly.
May God's richest blessings be yours. Amen.